Okay, now we're ready to try out some more tips and tricks in Puppet Master. This time, we're going to use a different background. You can either take a picture of a background or you can use a background your teacher has loaded for you. Click on the house. Scroll to find the background your teacher has added for you. It should be down here at the bottom and it should be about one of our holidays. In this case, it's the 4th of July. Click. Okay, here in the background we see Old Fashioned July 4th by N.R. Farman, which we've looked at before. Now we want to change our puppet to be something else. What do we do if we want to change our puppet? Who remembers? That's right, we click on the mannequin. Click on the mannequin. Now, this time, instead of using one of our preloaded characters, we're going to take a picture of a character. Your teacher has printed some out for you. So click on the plus sign, and then I want you to pick the camera image. Take your camera and find an image that you would like to take a photo of. Here's the image I like. Wait till it focuses and click to take a picture. Click the use photo button in the bottom right hand corner. I like to make the puppet a little bit big. I think it's easier that way. Then click on the right arrow. Sometimes you have to wait. Do you see how the head of the mannequin is flashing? Our directions tell us to paint the head. So you're going to take your finger and you're going to color the head. Do you see how the color is changing as I paint the head? Try to get as many details as possible. The more details you get, the better your puppet will look. When you're done, click the right arrow. Then you want to paint the mouth. Painting the mouth can be tricky. Do your best. Then click the right arrow. Do you see how the chest of the mannequin is flashing? That means we want to paint the chest of our puppet. Paint the chest of your puppet. Then click the right arrow. Now paint the lower body with legs, just like the flashing mannequin tells us. Then click the right arrow. Now you're going to paint the right upper arm. Do you see what's flashing on the mannequin? You're going to paint that part of your arm. Then click the right arrow. Paint the right forearm and hand. Do you see the part that's flashing on the mannequin? Paint that part of your puppet. Then click the right arrow. Then you want to do the same thing for the other arm. Do you see the part of the arm that's being highlighted by the mannequin? Paint that part of your puppet's arm. Then click the right arrow. Do you see the part of the mannequin that is flashing? It's the hand and forearm. Paint that part of your puppet. Then click the right arrow. Now we're going to do something that's kind of fun. We're going to click this bottom button down here with the magic wand. Click. Okay. Now I'm all done with that part. I'm going to click on the save button right down here. You might have to wait a minute. All right, check it out. Here's our puppet. Now we're going to do the same thing that we did before. But this time, I want you to think about something you're going to say about the old fashioned July 4th picture. What could you say about that picture? Think about all the things we discussed when we looked at this picture. Come up with one thing to say about the picture while you're recording. Click on the video camera below to record. We're going to do screen touch again, so click screen touch. Then I'm going to touch to move. Once I touch, my recording starts. So I'm going to move for five seconds, and then I'm going to talk for five seconds. What am I going to talk about? That's right, I'm going to talk about the picture, Old Fashioned July 4.
The 4th of July is my favorite holiday because I get to use sparklers. Click the square to finish recording. Yay, you finished your recording. Now you're gonna follow the same process as before to save your video. You're gonna click on the arrow, Now you're all finished. If you click the home button and go to photos, you can watch your video again. Thanks guys.